Hello, this is Jared from Yellowwood Guiding, and in this video I want to talk about different aspects that your digital camera can allow you to control. We've talked about exposure already, so I want to talk about the other aspects, the thing that sometimes digital cameras allow you to do that an older style film camera would not, or you had to do it in a different way. So the first thing I want to talk about is the ISO. ISO down here, or the ASA, that is your film speed. And what's amazing about digital cameras is instead of having to pull out one speed film and put in another speed film when the situation changed, maybe you waste all those pictures, instead of that, I can change my ISO one picture at a time. So if I hit the ISO button up here on the top and I rotate my dial here, there we go, I can adjust my ISO and make it higher and higher. The higher it goes, you get a faster shutter, you're dealing with a higher shutter speed at the same f-stop. We're shooting in aperture priority mode where you have it at a zero compensation, so we're trying to get an 18% gray picture. And as I move up the ISO spectrum, you get a higher and higher and higher shutter speed, which seems awesome and amazing, and it is. The problem is, as you go up to these high numbers, that 2500 or 3200, you're dealing with so much digital noise in your pictures that you lose detail. You almost can't even see what you're looking at. And having this sharp detail, especially here like this dragonfly, that's what photography is generally all about. you got to decide of what's your artistic direction, but the ISO allows you to control and take better pictures. So keep this in mind. If you want to take the best picture possible, you want to go to the lowest ISO possible on your camera. That generally means you're going to have to shoot from a tripod, you're going to have to have a extremely steady situation, maybe you shoot with mirror lockup mode. There's even some settings that are down below, generally, each camera setting, and this slows it down even more. The general rule of thumb is you should never go below the native ISO of your camera. And when I say native, that's generally if it says L or low or whatever, that's below the native ISO. So the native ISO of the Nikon D300 is 200 ISO. So what makes this really great though is if I want to shoot maybe birds in flight, I want to get the fastest shutter speed I can, I know in this camera that ISO 500 is as far as I want to take it to get as fast as shutter speed and still keep the top maximum quality. If you're dealing with other cameras however, especially full frame cameras like the Nikon D3 or the D700 also the Canon 5D or the 5D Mark II, you're dealing with a full frame sensor and they have less noise. And that's great because on a Nikon D3, I could shoot at maybe ISO 2500. I could get a much higher shutter speed with the exact same lens, exact same light. And that's why those cameras are so much more money. You're getting a lot more value. The downside is you lose a little bit of that crop factor with crop factor lenses or crop factor cameras like the Nikon D300 and down through the spectrum down to the D100, all those cameras were crop sensors. They have a smaller sensor than a 35 millimeter negative. And by being smaller, they have more noise from the digital side. So keep that in mind. If you want to get the best pictures, you want to generally keep your ISO below 640. If you're up to 640, you're probably going to get some bad quality. On just about any camera, unless you own a D3, a D700, or the Canon 5Ds, then you generally want to keep a lower ISO. So keep that in mind, but also remember that you can adjust it to get a better situation for yourself. You know you want to get a higher shutter speed, you go up and you sacrifice a little bit of quality for a higher shutter speed, because maybe you can stop that action. So that's ISO. Here's a quick sample of different ISOs and check out the noise quality. This was all the same shots on a gray sheet and you can see as the noise increases as you go up that ISO level. Check this out at the highest ISO level. Tons and tons of noise which should be a gray sheet.